hi welcome to my channel raw electron so today's video is about how to repair these 18650 lithium ion cells a question arises here can we really actually repair these lithium ion cells or not the simple answer is no thanks for watching hey wait here are there are two cases first of all as we use these batteries for a long time their internal chemistry is uh, worn out and they no longer hold charge so it's exceptional case uh, in this case the battery is totally dead and it can no longer be used so in the second case as you can see in the picture there is a gasket disc inside this uh, inside under this trip terminal so when there is a short circuit or too much current is drawn from the battery the battery heats up and there is a gas buildup inside this gasket which uh, uh, the gas build pressure inside this gasket and it leaves the positive terminal so the problem is that when it leaves the positive terminal the circuit is open and there is no voltage shown so let's check these cells one by one as you can see that there is no voltage on the reads on the multimeter let's check this one it's 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 okay 0 0.8 0, 0.0 no voltage no voltage hey it's okay now beside this as you can check these these cells are totally dead there is no volt there is not a single charge inside them so let's find what's the problem so for this for opening the gasket you need a cutter plier but the problem is that if you open this it can be damaged so you need a small screw drive a screw here so but which can fit inside this with the help of a thin screwdriver you can actually tap the surface now the hole is quite open now insert this screw into the hole please keep in mind there is no way to fix the internal chemistry of this cell if it is damaged internally there is no way to fix it i am only trying to close the circuit which is opened due to the gas build up inside the gasket disc so after inserting this screw tighten this screw as you can hear that some gas is escaped from the shell after tightening the screw now let's check the voltage as you can see that the voltage is going to 3 volts the circuit is closed now I am tightening a little bit make sure not to short the battery as these th this whole body is negative potential and this this one is a positive now remove the screw and check again check the voltage as you can see that it's at 3.05 volts this cell is okay now let's try another one this one is at zero there is also a way you can use this tweezer small thin tweezer and put it inside the hole as you 
Did you hear that? Gas escaped from the disc. Now check the voltage. Yes, it's now 2.7. It completely discharged, but it's okay now. So let's try to charge it. I'm having this XL4015 buck converter module. Let's measure the voltage output and set it to 4.21 for a battery. It's already set it to 4.24 volt, so it's okay. We can connect the cell to it for charging. Positive to positive, negative to negative. As you can see that blue LED indicator is turned on, so means it's charging the battery. So let's disconnect and check whether the voltage is rising or not. Yes, as you can see that it's charging. So let's try another cell. These both are at zero potential. Let's try that, that technique again. Again, gas escaped from the shell. Now check the voltage again. As you can see that 2.97 volts. Let's try the second one. Please do it carefully not to short the battery. yes the other one is also at three volts as i have shown you the technique to repair these cells if only if their gasket is open so please keep in mind if the batteries are already shorted or their internal chemistry is damaged there is not a way to fix them okay so not try to charge and uh, charge the batteries uh, which are already damaged or internal which are they which are not holding charge or something else so this is the way this is the temporary way to fix these cells because they are already shorted and their internal capacity is not as much as new so but now but you can use them for a long so hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible so please like share and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for the next video so as you can see that i already uh, i am so as you saw that these cells are now working again please keep in mind if their internal chemistry is damaged due to prolonged usage so you there is no fucking way to repair these cells if only if their internal chemistry is damaged so the case i have shown in this video you can actually repair them so hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section i, I will reply as soon as possible please like share and subscribe to my channel stay tuned for the next video